All right, shout out to Landon Dickerson, man. The, the tie continues to dominate, but the Philadelphia Eagles selected Landon Dickerson, I believe, with the 37th overall pick, and this is a huge deal for the Philadelphia Eagles. Again, uh, Jalen Hurts, man, continues to get more security. First, it was Devontae Smith at the receiving position, and now you have now you get literally security with Landon Dickerson. So this is a great move by the Philadelphia Eagles, right, protecting Jalen Hurts. Or, again, if, if Jalen Hurts is not the answer, if he's not the answer and they feel like they want to go in a different direction during the 2022 NFL draft, they can look for the quarterback of the future. And Landon Dickerson could be their center or guard or tackle. It doesn't really matter because that, that because that dude is versatile. He can play all three. He can literally play anywhere on the offensive line between the guard, center, and tackle position. He's a very he's a guy that's six five and a half. He's 330 pounds. He's a he's a mammoth of a man. Um, I don't know where people are saying that he's lacking athleticism. I think that's just a, I think that's complete bull jive. Um We've seen this do maul people. We've seen the footwork. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know if we're testing 40s or whatever. We need to stop really considering the 40s for Lyman as, you know, as far as saying that. It, he didn't even, as a matter of fact, no, he didn't even run a 40 because he, he tore his ACL. So I don't know where this he's not athletic crap is coming from. I think if you watch the tape, you can clearly see that Leonard Dickerson is, is athletic enough. And he's damn near, but he's, he's a bully of a man. Uh when it comes to when it comes to playing football. So yeah, Landon Dickerson, a great move by the Philadelphia Eagles. I guess the only concern is the injury concern. He's dealt with a lot of injuries ever since he was at Florida State and even when he came to University of Alabama. But besides that, there's a reason why he was the Remington Award winner. There's a reason why he was a first team All-American. He is one of the best linemen and he is a first and he is definitely first round value and first round value. But hey, Eagles fans, let me know how you guys feel about this pick. Do you guys feel like you reached on later Dickerson? Do you guys feel like you could have waited a little bit longer to take him? Or do you guys feel like you made the right selection? And uh, let me know how you guys feel like, you know, feel like how he will play when he gets to Philly. But anyway, guys, Gen Sports, aka Gen 716, and I'm out. Rotab.